All right, welcome back. Let's take a look at how we can load in a reference in Maya. Tap your spacebar to open your four panel view. And I'm going to load in a reference in one of the orthographic panels. I'm going to choose the front panel for my reference. However, you'll want to load in your reference in whatever panel works for you. So each of these panels has its own toolbar. And the toolbar contains options mostly related to viewport rendering. And if you take a look, um, we have an icon over here called Image Plane. Click on that, and then you'll just need to navigate to where you saved your reference. Um, I've already created a project folder called Vases, and it came with a bunch of subfolders, and one of the subfolders is called Source Images. If you put your reference in that subfolder, it'll know to look there when it's looking for the reference. So I'm going to select my Vase reference and click Open. All right, so now it's loaded it in the front panel here. Um, I'm going to Tap the spacebar again to uh, switch panels, and I'm just going to move this, maybe scale it up a little bit, and um, center it. So I'm going to center it around, um, sorry, on this vase over here. So here we go. And because this shot has been captured um, in a perspective view, I'm going to move the vase up on that ground plane, but sitting slightly below the ground plane. Here we go, and I'm going to tap the spacebar again to go back to the four panel view. All right, so we have the reference loaded in, but you can see that it's also in the perspective panel. Actually, it's in all of these panels. You can't really see it in these ones, but if I click off for a second and do a box select, you can see that it selected the reference again. I only want it to show in the view that I loaded it in. So to do that, let's open up our attribute editor. And then you'll want to find image plane attributes and right beside display, click this little circle and that'll only show it in the view we loaded it in. All right. And then sometimes um, the image will come in a little bit bright. So you may want to play with either the color gain or the alpha gain to lower that brightness so that it's a little bit easier to see your model. I'm going to leave this alone though. Um, and then I'm just going to click off for a second. So our reference is um, loaded in. But what you'll notice is sometimes when you're working, you'll accidentally select your reference. And that can be um, a little bit um, troublesome. So what we can do is we can put this reference on its own layer. So open up your channel box, make sure your reference is selected. And then down here, you have this um, icon, the last one here. They'll add it to its own layer. Click on that. And then let's double click the layer. And you'll just want to name your reference. And I'll just name this something simple like vase ref layer. And then click save when you're done. And now our reference is um, added to its own layer. And then in the last box, we can click this a couple times until we get an R. R stands for reference. So if we um, click off the reference now and try and click on it again, we can't select this reference anymore. So that keeps it out of the way when you're modeling. Um, or it prevents you from accidentally selecting it. And then one more thing I want to add is sometimes using this method, when you're um, reopening a project, your reference will disappear. And to bring it back, what I found is all you need to do is click on the visibility icon a couple times, and then it should come back. So um, try that out. Let me know if you have any issues, but that's pretty much how you load the references in Maya. And I did um, have other tutorials where we loaded in the reference, but um, because I use that quite a bit for different projects, I wanted to create a separate tutorial. That way I don't have to create a, a new one every time we do a new project. So hopefully this has helped you guys out and yeah, post any questions that you might have. Otherwise, uh, we will see you in the next one. See you all then.